it's basically it's just this mysterious wonderful peaceful beautiful place it's like if Iceland London New York Berlin had a baby it's kind of the vibe but like original still so you just need to come like but the main thing is like there's candles everywhere there's vibe there's darkness there's coziness there's like just hide wrap up and disappear Welcome everyone! This is Natalia from Natalka Design and today I'm going to take you to Copenhagen! As always, subscribe, like, support us, comment, show us some love because that always helps to create more content, more videos for you on brand, on business, on inspiration, on travel, on beautiful things, on illustration, on storytelling, everything and anything that inspires us is here for you to enjoy. So recently we went to Copenhagen. Welcome to one of my top, top cities in the world and that is Copenhagen. I've been here once a while ago and I fell in love. And why did I fall in love? It's peaceful. Everyone has a bike. Everyone has cute kids. Everyone looks cute. Design shops, best bakeries, best coffee, chill. It's, there's a vibe. There's a beautiful vibe. Don't know how to describe it otherwise. I'm just gonna show you some stuff. There will be a lot of food, a lot of pastry <laughs> videos. So from London, it's just an hour and a half, which is wonderful, quick flight. We got there and straight away, of course, what do Natalia do? She goes and finds good coffee. I want to share with you a few places that I feel very strongly about because I think that you should visit them. Let's focus on bakery. Bakery means more than just good bake goods. It's if there's a nice bakery, it will take you to an area that's wonderful, that's magical, that's more off the center, that has lovely boutiques, lovely streets, lovely vibe. One of the major reasons <laughs> why I travel is bakeries and coffee because you find the best areas when you go to places like this. Tip for you there. Now let me enjoy this. Our place where we were staying suggested we go to a place called Hart Bageri. Again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering, I'm not Danish, I wish. <laughs> the best cheesecake we ever had in our lives. And I'm not really a cheesecake person, so I was so impressed. The guy who runs it, is his name is Richard, and he used to be uh, working in uh, top restaurants in San Francisco. Came to Copenhagen to create these amazing bakeries, and it's just fascinating to see such a what looks like small production being so known like literally everyone that i could think of looked like it's a destination so if you're ever in copenhagen they have two places you should go next one was called juno wonderful warm very local vibes kind of off the center again you should definitely go the thing is you go everywhere by bike we loved it we so enjoyed it so we could see so many places in one day it was fabulous croissant here pastry here coffee here thank you <laughs> so definitely a place to see and another one that really i forgot that i had it starred from the past it's called mirabel and i loved it they had like amazing homemade pasta salads freshest juice and again pastries next up coffee 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 give me coffee i love coffee <laughs> so the thing about coffee in copenhagen i noticed that there's a trend and please tell me if that's a trend or that's been there for ages where people have wonderful time in delis they go to a deli with food and you can buy off the shelf food or you can buy fresh food sit down have your amazing coffee you can work you can talk you can do whatever and then off you go so i really love the mix of kind of food and coffee together and working or reading doesn't matter or meeting your friends inside a deli which that concept is not really much here in london i would love 
this to happen. It was really cozy. It was awesome to kind of be in places like that. One of our favorite coffee spots were called Coffee Collective. Wonderful, amazing. We love them. Oh my God. And another one was called Prolog in Meatpack District. Very interesting, very small, yet really amazing coffee. Of course, we bought some coffee, of course, from Copenhagen and yeah just wonderful little places you can have a good coffee in a lot of cafes but these were my favorite they love their sandwiches so something that we can relate to as poles we like eating sandwiches even for dinner if um now i live in london for so long like 14 years almost i eat warm dinners and i enjoy them but every now and then you know if you're polish you know we like a sandwich <laughs> and it can be a breakfast thing it can be a dinner thing we don't have really proper concept of dinner we have more of a supper which always confuses my friends where you just eat a sandwich lovely sandwich don't get me wrong with some tea and you're good you're done there's no concept of full-on warm dinner with dessert that just not doesn't happen unless you're at a special event we eat warm food during the day as a lunch let's call it just to make it easier for you I'm, I'm not gonna go there because this is about Copenhagen so maybe another video about the oddities of Poland <laughs> restaurants restaurants I've got my favorites oh my god you need to go if you're into seafood and fish go to something called Fiskebar again I'm very sorry if I'm butchering it I'll link it down below <laughs> and oh my god the best I'm not even kidding you guys, one of the best dinners I had in my life, is that okay to say? Like, the best cod, the best um, scallops, the most delicate seafood ever. So beautiful, so tasty, so amazingly presented, very simple vibes, but the quality of the food is like wow. It was amazing, amazing evening, suggested by my friend, thank you so much Anya. Another one that we bumped into in the island part of Copenhagen I don't know how to explain it where the little island is between the two main kind of more lands I'm so butchering that but I'll link it down below don't worry it's called La 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 and it was French so yeah you could say like why would I eat French in Denmark <laughs> but guys it was amazing like I'm not even kidding you amazing fresh warm cozy food cozy vibes lovely stuff it was just Mwah! and the last one one of the most special places I've seen in a long time, which looked so low-key, which looked like it doesn't have to be special because it was so tiny and kind of off the main anything. Thank God for these bikes because we could get anywhere. It was called La Banchina and oh my God, the best artichoke soup I ever had and it was like um, veggies, warm and cozy kind of salad, there was fish, we were sitting in front of beautiful windows where we could see water and you know boats and everything and actually as a bonus <laughs> I saw a few naked men going into water, I mean what can I do, they were just there, so I'm sitting there eating my soup and men one by one we're going in for a dip which looks like it's a thing which is amazing and healthy i'm sure in poland they do that as well they we're just dipping in coming out as i eat my soup and that's just what they do there which is awesome and women as well so if you i think they do it together we weren't even prepared to do that what we weren't thinking about that was called but if you can do both why not have your soup get a dip So another area that you definitely need to go if you're into not mainstream, lovely places, lovely boutiques, lovely streets, lovely people, lovely vibes, lovely coffee, everything lovely, Norreport. So we were suggested that as well, wonderful suggestion, loved every bit, we went through so many streets. And last but not least, Meatpack District. So it's a bit south of where we were staying, very low key as any Meatpack District might be, especially like in New York as well. Um, and it had amazing restaurants, so the whole area where the Fiskebar 
restaurant was is an area of food so if you go there you will definitely not be hungry and you definitely find something for yourself so very very cool area to eat some good food so if you're in Copenhagen which we never done before you gotta take a bike so it can be a bike that you rent from your hotel or just a website or whatever I'm sure there's many options so don't ask me how but it's a great way to see the city you can still stop and go stop and go get your coffee look at your shops whatever but it so helps you just see more I'm loving it I want one like that especially the quick look it's just like in and out in and out let's see the look it's so cool you just do this and the bike is locked mention at the end the bikes what a amazing concept that's something that I wish London had more of we yes we have bike lanes and yes we can cycle but it's not the same it's not the same safety wise I find and of course there's not the same space because London was built ages ago and it was built quite with narrow streets so to build in proper bike lanes would be literally cutting off cars and anyone else from the road now Copenhagen was built in a sense where the bikes can just float because it's very wide, the streets have space and we got bike every day from the place we were staying and there's no bumps, there's no hills, it's so easy, you do literally cycle everywhere, everyone does it and last but not least, just why should you go to Copenhagen? It's the vibe, it's the design, it's the UX of the city, everything makes sense as I said, everything is modern, wonderful, carefully done, even the tiny candles everywhere on the street and in the entry of a shop and the mood and the ambience that people create through light and through interiors and spaces is something really special and I think that definitely it brings a bit inspiration to me as well how I create my own space and how I feel in a space I understand that light and lighting has so much power and uh, creates a mood so i'm already like inspired here and there to like create really nice low-key yellow warm light if you know what i mean let's tag myself natalka design and let us know that you've been to those places um and get me some bakery get me some bakery from heart oh. thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next one ciao